Hello and welcome to this Simulator Spotlight presentation. My name is Jason Tranter and in this presentation I'd like to talk to you about I Teach Test Rig. This simulator is also available in I Learn Hands-On Professional. So even though the software will look a little bit different uh, with what I'm about to show you, um, it is all the functionality is available in I Learn Vibration Professional. So we'll just wait for it to start up. Here it is. Now, what we did is take a vibration test rig, fault demonstrator, and record vibration all over the test rig at multiple points uh, with it being set up in different ways. It could have a belt from here to here, just driving the gearbox, and we can remove the coupling and have a belt from here to this point here. So this is just a sort of a 3D version of it. It's not actually a photo, it's a 3D render of the whole thing. But it, um, it's just a good way to show real data taken from a test rig. So, you know, it's, there's always some limitations to what you can do with fault demonstration rigs. But it saves a lot of time in the classroom because within, you know, two or three clicks, we're looking at real data. We can listen to it. We can do all sorts of things rather than sitting there and undoing bearings and putting new bearings in and adding belts, removing belts, all that sort of stuff, which is a waste of your time. You know, you didn't come to see someone work on a test rig. You came to learn about vibration. Anyway, so how does it work? We say, give us a condition. So we can say, you know, unbalance. And all these little yellow buttons here mean that there is data available, but the best data happens to be available from this point here. So we click and say, do I want to see the vertical reading, the axial, the horizontal, or the tachometer signal, if we, can, if we wanted to do that. So there's some vibration. We can change the units there as well. Um, and we can analyze it. We can click this little button over here and we can change the resolution if, we, if we'd like to do that. We can change lots of settings, the number of averages, change the units, log, lin, all sorts of things. So basically, you, you just decide what data do you want to look at um, and uh, away you go. So another good example here is looseness with the machine. There's also run up and run down tests as well and then we can you know, look at the data. So here we can see in this time waveform in G's the, the impact says that we, we loosened off on these bolts here and as the shaft turned I think with a little bit of unbalance it caused it to, it was loose so it rocked back and forward and you can see you know, once per revolution bang, 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 bang. You can see the symmetry of the data. It's moving a lot more in one direction and here's the classic you know, 1x uh, vibration. So there's uh, a 1x peak with, with all those harmonics. And I can get in here and I can zoom in and take a closer look. I can play the vibration. Uh, again, I can click there to make it sort of lock in on that frequency. Lots of things I can do. I can experiment with different types of averaging. There's just so many settings. I can analyze it. I can play this vibration out of the computer into portable data collector as well. Lots of things we can we can do with all of this. But bottom line is it really helps in training classes when you can show real data from misaligned gears, from gears with broken teeth, I think it was in there, um, bearing faults, just lots of different types of faults. We, we have real data and then we can manipulate that data to see what's going on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that presentation describing I teach test rig. Thanks very much for taking the time to view this presentation.